This is chlorine dioxide. Chlorine dioxide is commonly used as a bleach. It comes in two parts, sodium chloride plus hydrochloric acid. If you're trying to detox parasites, bacteria, the mold and the fungus that's kind of hanging out in our systems. There's been research in relation to autism. A dangerous fake cure trending online as parents force feeding their kids chlorine dioxide to cure autism. Chlorine dioxide cured my cancer in 30 days. I cannot recommend chlorine dioxide as a treatment for anything because I'd like to keep my license because the FDA will come after me. There literally exists no evidence to suggest that this is true. Like none at all. At all. Let's talk about why that's not a thing. What is chlorine dioxide? So back in 1811, the OG electric chemist, Sir Humphrey Davy, cooked up chlorine dioxide gas and likely just kind of put it on a shelf because this molecule is a very aggressive, very toxic, very nasty substance. It's a yellowish gas that reacts pretty violently with most things because it's a very strong oxidizer. The molecule itself has a chlorine atom with two oxygen atoms attached to it. And it itself is not very stable, like the pure gas can't really be isolated because it'll explode and just turn into chlorine gas and oxygen gas. But in dilute solutions, it can be used in a whole bunch of stuff, including disinfecting and bleaching wood pulp and clean and disinfect drinking water. And that's most of what we use it for, what we have used it for in the past. But then at some point in the late 90s, a gentleman by the name of Jim Humble wrote a book where he claimed that he was able to cure malaria with chlorine dioxide. And he referred to his chlorine dioxide stuff as this magic mineral solution. And and somehow he made the leap that it could be used to cure everything and founded this church called the Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing or something or other. And they have been probably one of the biggest spearheaders of this whole chlorine dioxide magic cure nonsense. So despite the fact that there is literally no science to back up what he's been saying, people have continued to try and hawk these products, even though this guy Jim he himself walked back a decent amount of what claims he had made about this stuff. That hasn't stopped a lot of people from continuing to sell these products. One bottle has a solution of sodium chloride salt and the other bottle has an acid. When you mix the two of these things together, what happens is that sodium chloride salt takes a proton from the acid that you added to it and it makes the stuff called chlorous acid. Once you got that chlorous acid in solution, and you got two of them in solution, they can find each other. And when they find each other, they say, hey, buddy, you want to take one of my protons? Let's show you. you know what? Let's just both give up our protons. So they both give each other their protons, but they give each other their protons with one electron so that they become hydrogen gas, at which point you have left over these two molecules of chlorine dioxide. And it goes off and does its wild radical oxidative chemistry. Now, beyond the way that this is gonna screw up proteins in your body and give you nausea and diarrhea and all the other terrible things, one of the big problems with these products is like all snake oil, it's not regulated. Who knows what's in this? Who knows how much is in this? Who knows how long it's been sitting on a shelf? Very likely might contain a whole bunch of other stuff that's probably even worse for you. And again, there's no benefit to having it in your body to begin with. It is in fact poison. Now. You may be saying to yourself, well, after all of that, what do you mean we use it to disinfect drinking water? That doesn't sound like a good idea. At very low levels, it's relatively well tolerated. And there are a lot of studies that suggest this. In fact, most studies that have been done to measure how well chlorine dioxide is tolerated in drinking water have shown that at levels a bit above what the EPA recommends doesn't seem to have any real serious deleterious effects. The problem here is that these products, based on their recommended usages, can have three, if not more times the recommended EPA limit. And they're telling you to use it multiple times per day. So yeah, it's a whole different ball game. So in short, there is no evidence that suggests that there's any utility in chlorine dioxide medicinally to actually fight pathogens of any sort in your body, none. Absolutely not. I tried, I tried so hard to find at least one paper, one paper talking about how it did as a medicine. It's, it's not been done. It just hasn't been done, but there have been plenty of studies that show how toxic it is and how bad it is for you, chronic or acute. It's not going to cure cancer. It's not going to cure autism. It's not going to cure your bad attitude. It's not going to cure your bad breath. It's a bleach and a disinfectant for outside of your body. I hope that this is gonna be useful to anybody who's trying to convince somebody that they don't need to be drinking and using this stuff because this is not good for you. But thank you for watching to the end. If you enjoyed this one, appreciate if you hit that like button. Until next time, it's Kemp Thug.